Pisceans, this is your last reading for 2019 from my channel. And then we'll be in 2020 in a week. Yay! Isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, so before we leave for 2020 and forget and leave behind 2019, let's see what's the energies that are playing with my Pisceans. Is it love? Is it love? Is it money? Is it family? So let's see what's happening. My nose has started itching as soon as I touched Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, what's happening? Fishes. Fishes gone hiding or fishes gone deep inside the sea. Let's see. Okay, one more. And we are going to start. All right, we are done. So Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. This was star sign of Pisces, by the way. So this it'd be Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus. You know, you know the drill. All right. So Pisces, you have the Four of Cups. There you go. You have the Five of Pentacles, and you have the Two of Swords. And what's crossing you is the Two of Pentacles. Pisces, don't. It's it's, it's so much of two two energy. Have you seen the Piscean sign? It's two fishes. So duality is becoming a character, it seems. You you have the good things, you start thinking, what if something goes wrong? You have all the good, all the bad things, then you are like, why can't things be right? So understand, that's the duality of life. All right, in the past, I see you missed on some opportunity. There could have been somebody, some job, some offer that you missed out on, okay, with the Four of Cups. Also, this could be pure, sheer boredom. There was one time in this year when you could have been very bored. Four months back, four weeks back, but something to do with four and you were bored. So bored as a four, okay? Bored as a four. <laughs> so, so you were bored and you missed out on certain things. Maybe you missed out on seeing the point. Maybe you missed out on working on yourself because you were just bored with whatever was coming towards you. You were just not interested. Now, in the present situation, I see you're still not very happy. Financially, you could feel that you could do better. Or in your life, you, again, you have this, I'm out in the cold, I'm so sad, things are not that good as it was supposed to be. So that kind of a bit of negative vibe you're ending this year. You're not happy. You're not counting your blessings. All you're doing is you're counting your losses okay that's what i feel here you're counting your losses as you look back on 2019 you're not thinking about the good things that you have you're thinking about the bad things or the things that didn't work out okay now what's challenging you is two of pentacles maybe you're overworked maybe you're handling too many things at one time maybe you're handling too many problems at one time so you those that handling two three things maybe this is the time you want to take a break Really relax, do nothing, maybe cry, maybe in the party be the person who would have two drinks and start sobbing and telling their sob story. You know, you want a, that kind of environment. Maybe you're not able to do that because there are some work pressures. There are certain things that you're juggling. You're juggling with your life and career. You could be juggling two careers. You could be juggling, you know, your wants and your uh, responsibilities. So there is a kind of sense of juggling. Okay, what is coming towards you uh, as you end this year is mental conflict, two of sorts. So this juggling has is leaving you in a mental conflict. Should I, should I not? Will it be a good idea or this will also end up like this? Because you have had a missed opportunity in the past, you're thinking, what if I miss it and it's actually good, like last time. And next moment, your five of pentacles is forcing you like, what if it's bad and you go into a worse soup? Because because of this, you're already handling too much of problems. So if you go in or if you get tempted and going in for something new or different, you know, they might that, that might sound interesting, but what if things go wrong? So this is like self-prophesizing some bad things in your life. So stop doing that, okay? So let's see. Let's clarify this two of souls. I didn't need clarification for most of the signs. I think one sign I needed because they have the devil there and you have the two of swords, which is not very positive. So what is it? Why is this two of swords? What are you thinking of? 
Spirit, show me why is this Two of Swords here, please? Okay. You have two cards. Okay, you have the Seven of Cups and Temperance, yeah. This Two of Swords or this mental conflict is because you have a lot of options. As I said, you're juggling and you're not able to juggle. You're juggling two or more than two things. Could be life and career, could be people, whatever it is. Spirit is saying you are in this mental conflict of two of swords because firstly, there is confusion with the seven of cups. You don't know which cup to take because every cup seems tempting, but the good thing lies in only one cup. The rest six are all just eyewash. So you are confused. And the more confused you are, the more you are in this mental conflict. And also the reason of your mental conflict is balance, Saj energy temperance it's balance it's lack of balance you're not able to balance you're not you're feeling overwhelmed i'm getting this feeling of getting feeling overwhelmed because sometimes you're thinking about your past how things went wrong at the same time you're thinking about your past what are the stupid mistakes that you made and you missed out on some beautiful opportunities and now you're like in such a mental uh conflict you don't know what if the new one is good you want to take that risk. And the next moment you're like, no, what if it's bad? And I don't want this five of pentacles. So you're conflicted between this four of cups and five of pentacles. You're kind of juggling. So one moment you're yes, one moment the next moment you're no. You're scared. You want to balance your life, but you're not able to because you can balance two jugs, but there's seven cups. So you don't know what to pour from where and to what. Okay, so you are in utter confusion. So I can only advise you, Pisces, don't get confused. Take a deep breath. Relax. Just shut down everything. Enjoy your time with your family. A good food, good wine, good family, and just simple conversations. Connecting with the family will rejuvenate you. Once you're rejuvenated, you'll have a clearer mind. You can think. All right. So spirits have already given you one particular message. We'll see that. But I'll pull two for you. Okay. Because you are confused. So spirits, please guide us. What is happening with Pisces? Why are they confused? What they need to focus on? What is confusing my Pisces? And what they need to focus on? What is confusing? All right. Thank you, spirit. So you have the 11th house. Okay, you also. And you have the 6th house. All right, I see it. I see it. And this message from the Spirit was Mercury. This is about communication. So communicate well. Write, talk. Whether you're writing, whether you're talking, whether you're traveling, communicate clearly. That is what you are not able to do. That's why this mental conflict. That's why the Seven of Cups, there's confusion. And this confusion is not letting you communicate. You can't even, it's not about talking. Communication is not talking. Don't confuse it like, oh, I talk to people. No, communicating is about stating clearly or sending the message across what you want to say. So maybe there are things that you want to communicate to yourself. You're not able to do that. There's a blockage because you're confused. Now, spirits are saying, focus on your sixth house. Sixth house is your daily work. Focus on your daily work. Focus on your health. Focus on the duties. So forget about the options and choices you have. The way to filter it is first focus on your duties, your sixth house, okay? So this is duty, duty first. So focus on your sixth house. Also focus on your 11th house because 11th house is the house of your wishes, your luck factor, your friends, your gatherings, so as I said, shut down everything, go home, have fun with family and friends. That's what is 11th house. It is about social occasions. It is about friends. It is about luck. So your wishes can come true, provided you make the right choice. And to make the right choice, you simply need to disconnect from everything. Go connect with your friends, family, clear your mind. But duty first, do your work and then do all that so that you don't have the space. Two of Pentacles, overwhelmed with work, and then communicate clearly. Talk to yourself, talk to others, and come to a conclusion, okay? All right, so Pisces, this is where we end 2019 reading for all my zodiacs. 
And I will be seeing you in 2020 with your 2020 readings. Thank you so much for all the support that I've got throughout the year. I love you all. Have a wonderful season holiday. Merry Christmas to those who are celebrating. And wish you a very, very, very happy new year. Okay? I'll see you later. Bye, Pisces.